So once again, we find ourselves stuck in a situation that a lot of people have dealt with. And it's something that could very well be prevented, but it's something that I'm just going to have to touch up on. After you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. What's going on my fellow Fuzzbugs? It's Top of the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. You see, I got a little regular old midi mitts on right now because my new paws are still a work in progress and those will be coming quite soon. But time to get to the matter at hand. This is something that a lot of artists have been dealing with for quite some time now and it doesn't happen often or at least it hasn't happened often to me myself, but it does happen quite often. And I'm just going to be going through a list of ways to piss off an artist. Step one, first and foremost, using the term talent. Now, now I know what you're saying. The word talent could be something that could be seen as a bit of a compliment because, you know, it's like, oh, hey, you know, you have really great work. You know, you're a pretty talented artist, but there is a stigma on that very word talent. And I'll explain to you exactly what I mean by that. When you use the word talent and you're talking to an artist about their artwork, they feel as if using the word talent means that they didn't do anything to work towards what their art has become. As if they've just woken up out of bed one day when they were like 13 years old and they just took the freaking pencil, put it to the paper and boom, you got this big old landscape or something all amazing. And that's just how it's been from that point on. No, no, no. Instead of using the term talent, we use skill because skill is something that can be refined. It gets better as time progresses. Talent, that just means that, you know, it was good and it's still good, but it's only as good as what it was. And that just, that's something that can upset a lot of artists. And, you know, it does make sense because they have been steadily improving their art style, you know, introducing new techniques and stuff like that. And when you say that their style is talented, it just makes them think like, oh, hey, well, I guess I haven't made any progress at all because, you know, you say that, oh, it's just been like this since the beginning of forever, like that I haven't been improving. So if you say that you're a skilled artist, that sounds so much more aesthetically pleasing to the good old fluffy ears. All right, another thing. Whenever you commission your artist, please, 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 for the love of God, do not rush them. Don't message them every two days saying, hey, status of my commission. Hey, status of my commission. Hey, a status of my commission. Hey, I haven't heard anything from you. Status of my commission. Because you do not know what they are dealing with in their personal lives. Just know that nine times out of ten, if they took your commission, then they will do your commission. Now, I understand, you know, years and stuff go by and they just haven't been active and stuff like that. That's different. But if you see that they're still putting out and also if you see that you're not the one at the top of the commission queue, then you need to calm down because one, there is, you know, a direct order, you know, with the list and all that. And if you're not at the top of that list, then you have to sit tight and wait your turn. Like, that's just how it is. So don't be rushing people saying, hey, you need to go ahead and get these other commissions done. That way you can get mine done. Because one, that's selfish and self-centered. And two, you definitely don't want to rush someone who is doing your work because they can message you saying, oh, hey, uh, since you're being a rude customer to me, I've decided I'm just going to drop you from my queue. It is something that could very well happen. And I'm pretty sure it has happened a couple times in the past with some of the more seasoned artists. I use the term season loosely because that just means someone who's been doing it for a while, you know, if they've gained some experience. I just like using the word seasoned instead of experienced. Also, demanding refunds. If it says in the policy that there is a no refund policy, like why would you even try to do that? And the reason why there is a no refund policy is if they take your commission, then they're going to do it like no if, ands, or buts. You just have to give them time to do it. And the main reason why people be like, oh, I want a refund because they feel that the artist isn't getting their work done fast enough. And some art does take time. A lot of it takes time. Some artists, they'll stream for 12 hours at a time and 
You have no idea the strain on your wrist for streaming that long sitting in that one position drawing. I mean, they do take breaks, you know, to eat and stuff like that, but still, in one single span for 12 hours doing one thing like this, that kills, kills, kills the wrist. And believe me when I say it is not something that's fun because that stuff will follow you like whenever you do in your day-to-day -day activities. You can go to just pick something up and then boom, that pinch of clinch right there in your wrist and then it just hurts and it'll throb for the rest of the day and you gotta deal with that but guess what you've still got work you gotta do because there's six people left in your queue that still need their art so you gotta power through that crap and just do it despite the grueling pain that you're in so please 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 don't rush your artist and don't demand a refund after like one or two weeks, especially, you know, if it's reasonable and you see that they're getting the rest of their commissions out because that's still considered rushing them and they can drop you from their queue if they so choose. And, you know, you can get all mad about that. But if you as the commissioner is the one that is incompetent, then there's no fault to the artist if they drop you from their queue because if you're getting out of line, you know, being disrespectful, then they, they, uh, <clears throat> They do their best judgment call and they're just like, hmm, do I really want to continue doing this person's work despite them being rude to me, disrespecting me? You know, the list goes on and on. They could, you know, turn the other cheek, go ahead and get your work done. Or they could just tell you like it is, tell you how they feel. And then, yeah, you have to take that within a grain of your own salt shaker. So, yeah, this is just some of the things that I would recommend that people do not do to their fellow artists. Because, like I say, art is hard work and with some people art is their work like they do art full time they pay their bills with their art they you know eat with their art and all that stuff so yeah you got to take into consideration all these things that and we are all people so we have our you know day-to-day -day things that we have to do you know family interactions you know going places meeting people eating cooking stuff like that just Things like that that are very important in our day-to-day -day lives. So there will be time where there is art and then there will be time when there is other life things and people have to consider this. Now I'm not saying that everybody watching this video is like that, but to the people out there who have been kind of pestering towards their artists, please, please, please stop that because like I've said in past videos, these type of situations can drive artists to completely stop what they're doing and just quit the art scene despite how far they've come in this community because artists work really hard to get where they're going like the vision that they have for their ideal art style takes so much time to perfect I know this firsthand because I am still trying to perfect my art style and over the course of the three years that I've been drawing my art style has changed so much it's improved quite a bit but the style itself has changed so much because I'm still adapting to new techniques. I'm still trying stuff out. I'm combining one technique with another. You know, I'm just kind of, you know, fishing in the water or whatever and seeing if I can reel something in that's nice. And then once I find that little happy medium or whatever, then I can move on to the next step and, you know, better myself and all of that stuff. Oh, so yeah. Try to be nice to your artist because you know that they are going through some things and they can be going through very hard times in their life. Also, you know, be on the lookout for those journals because sometimes a lot of artists make vent journals and I know when you go on for affinity or whatever, you just see that long list of like, you know, 200 journals and you're like, eh, I don't feel like dealing with that. Thank you, Horn. But <laughs> just like skim and scan through them because most of them is, you know, like art raffles and stuff. And if you're not interested, that's all right. But if somebody's going through some tough times, then definitely open that freaking journal and see what's going on. You know, your little word of advice might actually help them through their day. So, yeah, these are just some things that you can kind of brush up on and all that stuff if you've done that before. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know when the next Q&A is going to be? And for infinity, one of y'all fan artists all with a circle, fan artists always welcome. Keep it PG-13. But as always, my name is Albert the Circle, and I'm out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Damn.
question of the day. Who is your favorite furry artist and why? Or not furry artist, just artist in general. Okay. Blah. Who is your favorite artist and why? Let me know down there in the dibbly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Why?